Hello again, this is Sean and Caroline. Uh, I'm with the Well-Ordered Homeschool and Caroline is with... The Modest Mom Blog. And the Well-Ordered Homeschool. And the Well-Ordered Homeschool. <laughs> and Little Rose. Yeah, lots of things. We can just keep naming. Okay. And we're just doing a little quick video series on how some tips and tricks on how to train two-year-olds. So we've uh, talked about a number of things. We've talked about whining. We've talked about... Media. Yeah, talked about media a little bit. And right now we're going to talk about... Um, expectations you know what should you expect from your two-year-old and a lot of times as parents well most times we we forget about what it was like to be young mm -hmm. <laughs> particularly two three four years old well most people don't even remember being two yeah yeah right we don't we don't we just don't have any comprehension of that some kind right. of weird mystical land way back in the past <laughs> and uh, but we were we were two years two years old and our parents got on to us for things yeah. and frust we got frustrated and whatnot and uh, so we're, we're that's what we're talking about right now is to take stock of that and to be sensitive to the the needs and the capabilities of your two-year-old because a lot of the frustration that might be they might be showing towards your expectations are th from the fact that your expectations are too high mm -hmm. or maybe unreasonable you know um, yeah. Well, I remember when our oldest was six months and a year or a year and a half and two, and we had these crazy, unrealistic expectations, and we put too much pressure on him, and we corrected him too harshly because we read all these parenting books, and we thought, hey, they're saying by a year he should sit still in our lap at church, and they're saying by two he should do this, and, and we were frustrated that he wasn't following that. And in reality, looking back, he was a very sweet little boy that we just put a lot of unrealistic, harsh expectations on him. And we deeply regret that. And so we have tried not to go too far the other side, you know, and not have any expectations for our two-year-old. We try to find the middle of the road balance, which if you've ever heard Sean talk at homeschool conventions, or if you have ever gone through our parenting course that we have, we talk a lot about middle of the road parenting in there. And so with your two-year-old, you want to find that middle of the road balance. You don't want to be lax and not have any expectations at all for your two-year-old because you're really setting the stage for who they're going to become. But you also don't want to be this harsh, critical parent that has these crazy expectations that you're constantly frustrated at. And you have to remember every two-year-old is different. Every two-year-old, you know, our six-year-old, she's a different six-year-old than some of our other six-year-olds. And she's different, our current two-year-old, is very different than our next child up when they were when she was two like every child is different and so you need to be very sensitive to what your two-year-old can handle and not put these unrealistic expectations of you know you're going to clean your room at two years old and you're going to sit still every single Sunday for an hour-long sermon without ever making a peep um, those those aren't necessarily realistic at two you know, and, and to, to know that some children will get it easier than others, but that there is a reason why the phrase terrible twos is out there. Because two is hard. It's just a hard stage. Because mm -hmm. they're, getting, they're getting more vocal. Yeah. And they're getting more in tune with what they like and they don't like. Uh, but they're still very, they're just coming out of the baby stage still. <laughs> yeah. You know, so you've got this weird mix of. Um, additional capabilities and yet we're still kind of you know we're still weaning off of the baby years mm -hmm. so um, let them be snuggly that's yeah. what I've learned I mean I'm in my seventh two-year-old but my oldest is 17 he's gonna be a senior next year he's about to fly the coop you know and I realized how fast it goes if your two-year-old wants to snuggle let them snuggle you know, don't be like, no, you're going to sit right next to me in church and you will not get on my lap and you must sit there quietly and you must color and just do your thing. Let them snuggle. Let them be little. You know, let them enjoy mommy still. And I have a baby now, so I can't just devote all my time to the two-year-old. But you need to make sure that you have special time set aside to snuggle and love on your two-year-old and let them be little. Yeah, they're going to obviously progress at different uh, stages yeah. or different rates, I guess you'd say. Uh, the pace is different from child to child. And so, uh, you know, Caroline has really taught me this with like reading. Um, you know, we get, some parents will get really down on their children if they're not like reading by a certain age mm -hmm. because they see all of the other children at this age, they're reading by now and you can't read. And they're just freaking out about this. But 
with with most children it, it comes eventually mm-hmm. you know you now that's not to mean that you just let it happen on its own there's right. things that you should you could be working on it but our children have all read at different ages and some have been earlier than others and some have been have been kind of concerningly late mm-hmm. yeah and yet when they got it they got it mm-hmm. and so sometimes when you know you look at your two-year-old and they're not as far along as you know johnny two-year-old down the street and you're getting so frustrated with them like why can't you uh, mop the floor, I don't know, whatever it is, or sit still in church like there's all these other mm-hmm. two-year-olds. And you're getting angry at them. Well, maybe they're just not, that's just not them just mm-hmm. yet. You know, the, it will come, so keep working with them and give them some grace, but wait for that, wait for it to kind of develop mm-hmm. on its own in a sense. So mm-hmm. those unreasonable expectations place a, a great deal of stress on your two-year-old. So a lot of the tantrums and a lot of the whining and a lot of the crying might be coming from the fact that your your expectations are kind of out of whack mm-hmm. and you're, you're, you're pressing too hard and too fast. Now, we're not here advocating for no expectations no. and no rules or anything like that. Just let them, let them do whatever they're going to do. We're not advocating that, but just you you got to be very prayerful. you got to be very considerate of this particular two-year-old mm-hmm. and how, where are they going and what are their strengths, where are their weaknesses. And like Caroline said, all, we've had eight of them and they're all different. Mm-hmm. Well, we've had seven two-year-olds, we've got one that's on his way, but um, they're all very different. And I think mm-hmm. if we would have parented all of our children the same way we parented our first one, we, we, we would have been in for a lot of strife and heartache and frustration mm-hmm. on both sides. Mm-hmm. And so after that first one, um, when we tried to like force him into a box, Make them into a mold. Yeah, we we read these books that said, here's the box, Mm -hmm. and you've got to get him in this box and get Mm -hmm. in there and close the lid. Uh, Once we realized that that was not him, uh, at some point it was, you know, it's good to sit still in church, obviously. (laughs) You know, if you're 15, you're not sitting still in church, you've got a problem. But at that particular age, this goes back to the reading. Like, he wasn't quite ready for that yet. We're going to keep working with him. Let's show him a little grace. And so we saw a lot of frustration come out of him. And uh, it really, if, uh, we can't understate this. We really can't. This isn't some little simple uh, nitpicky thing that we're talking about here. If, if you're not careful with the way that you parent your two-year-old, um, you could really do some, some long-lasting, if not permanent, damage to your mm-hmm. relationship with your child. Mm-hmm. That never goes away. And you're setting the stage, like Caroline said, for the, for the, for the next you know, 15 years, mm-hmm. or however long it's going to be, or longer. Um, and if you don't get this right here early on, um, it, again, it, the, the effects are, are lasting. You know, the ripples from that just they, they spread out. And so we've noticed that uh, with what we try to do. And a lot of it was pride. A lot of it, we, I feel to this day that we were trying to get him to conform to all of the other good two-year-olds that mm-hmm. we saw. We didn't want him to embarrass us in mm-hmm. church or embarrass us in public or embarrass us in front of family members. And we wanted... We wanted others to look at us as if, oh, look at, look at this good two-year-old, mm-hmm. and that must mean that they're very good parents. And that's what we wanted. We wanted that that affirmation, right. and uh, thankfully he didn't give it to us. Yeah, because that would have put us in a box, right? And it would have set the stage for our parenting for the next, you know, for all our, the next yeah. seven. Yep. So he taught us a lot. Mm-hmm. I feel sorry that he had to go through mm-hmm. what he went through, but so. Um, so step back and take stock of, of your two-year-old. Think hard. You know this. You're around them more than anybody else. We can't tell you right. exactly how to parent your two-year-old because ours are all different. Yours are different from ours. And um, be prayerful about that. Have the Lord show you opportunities You know where you can speak to, into their little heart and help them to, to gain a strength in an area in which they're weak. And not just assume because Susie or Johnny, you know, sitting there in church has got it all together that, well, mine has to, mine does as well. Mm-hmm. You know, just, just, they're not Susie and Johnny. <laughs> and you don't know what lengths Susie and Johnny's parents have gone to That's to right. get them to sit still in church. And it might not be what you agree with. That's exactly right. Sometimes yeah. Susie and Johnny have just been scared half to death yeah. into doing that. And it's not pure obedience. Right. It's not, it's not the kind of obedience that you want for a lifetime. Yeah. It's just fear-based. So maybe, maybe not, but right, a lot maybe. of times that is the case when you see these perfectly obedient, you know, quiet and still like church mice children, sometimes it's, it's a lot of fear. When they're really little. Yeah, yeah, in there. So 
Anything else you have to add to that? <laughs> just, just try and find the middle of the road. Be very prayerful. You know, the worst thing you can do is be this lax parent that never corrects your two-year-old. The other worst thing you can do is to be breathing hellfire and damnation down their throat all the time. But you just don't want to do that. Yeah, we talk about this in our course. Yeah. Uh, we talk about left side parents. Yes. This is my left. Left side parents, right side parents. Yes. We have whole sections in our course on this. Yeah, and, and we're pretty passionate about this. Yeah, you can ping pong back yeah. and forth between these. And what she talked about with the right side, like you're so strict and, and rule based, like like we were, like right. fit him in the box. And left side parent is let he, you know, he's two, you know, he's only gonna be two once. We're just gonna let him flower and grow mm -hmm. into whatever he's gonna grow into. And anything that knows anything about gardening, you know, or planting flowers or vines or anything, you don't mm -hmm. just do that. You yeah. gotta train this stuff if it's going to turn into anything that's worth looking at. <laughs> and so, you know, you got to strike a path down the middle of those of those two extremes. So, all right. Ultimately, you are the parent. You set the expectations, so be very prayerful about uh, how you go about telling your 2-year-old, giving the impression of your 2-year-old of what you want out of them. Just yeah. be very prayerful. Mm -hmm.